Hi, how can I lose belly fat? Pulls up over 2 million hits on Google. It is a hot topic that goes beyond wanting to improve appearance. A larger waist measurement can mean that you have too much visceral fat. This is the fat store around internal organs like your liver and pancreas, which is commonly referred to as belly fat. Whether you're overweight or not, carrying more fat around your belly is linked to a number of serious health problems such as heart and circulatory diseases, high blood pressure and stroke, insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes, and bowel cancer. And don't forget muscle imbalances and lower back pain. Well, you're going to ask, is putting on weight just part of getting older? Well, it is true that as we get older, we need less calories to keep our body working well. Changes to our hormones during this time means that we start to lose muscle and gain fat, therefore making it harder to maintain a healthy weight. But this is not to say that it is impossible. Although you cannot escape the aging process, when it comes to managing your weight, there are other factors that are within our control. This includes your lifestyle habits, choices and behaviours, especially around diet and how active you are. So when should you be concerned? Regardless of your height or BMI, you should aim to lose weight if you belong to one of these two categories. And your risk of serious health problems will greatly increase if you belong to one of these two groups. So, if you want to reduce your belly fat, you will need to burn more calories than you consume. That is creating a calorie deficit and eat the right kinds of food. Here are my generalized suggestions. First, make sure you eat a balanced diet. Avoid processed food. Try to eat at least five portions of fruit and vegetable each day. Have some reduced fat dairy or soy drinks fortified in calcium. Eat more beans, fish and eggs. Eat small amounts of unsaturated oil. Keep yourself adequately hydrated. Avoid adding salt or sugar to your meals. And finally, cut out sport drinks, sugar sweetened drinks and other foods that have a lot of added sugar in them. Be aware that low-fat options might have high content of added sugar. You also need to increase protein in your diet. Protein can be a helpful way to lose weight because it makes you feel fuller than carbs and fat do. So if you include a lean source of protein, such as skinless white chicken, in your meals, you may find that you're not as hungry and so eat less. Make sure you include protein with each meal. Good source of protein includes chicken breast, tuna, mackerel, salmon, eggs, milk, nuts and soya. And remember that a portion of protein is about as big as the palm of your hand. Go for foods that are rich in protein and low in fat. Almost everyone would like to change certain parts of their body. Achieving change through diet and exercise takes time and effort, leaving those who desire a quick fix in search for a faster solution. Targeted fat loss, also known as spot reduction, is a type of exercise that many people turn to when they try to slim down specific area of the body. For example, exercising triceps in order to get rid of excess fat on the back of your arms. However, most scientific evidence shows that spot reduction is not effective and that fat loss tends to be generalized to the entire body, not the body part being exercised. Although targeted training will strengthen and build muscles, in order to see definition, weight must be lost through calorie burning workouts and a healthy diet. Following a healthy meal plan and creating a calorie deficit is crucial for weight loss. Limiting processed foods, eating more protein and fiber, and practicing portion control are all evidence-based ways to lose weight. Any form of exercises for at least 30 minutes a day is good for you. Use every opportunity to become fit, whether you are at home or at work or with friends. This could include cycling to work or get off the bus or train one or two stops early. But combining resistant training and cardiovascular exercises is ideal. Resistant exercises are a great way of helping you to maintain your muscle mass and your glucose metabolism, which are important for managing your weight. Resistant training has also been shown to reduce fat around your tummy area. Please take a look at my video on resistant training. Compound workouts such as goblet squats, deadlifts, pull-ups, and bench presses are highly effective in building muscles. 
muscles are metabolically active and can burn fat even when you're at rest. That said, building muscle is not easy. I would therefore recommend you to combine resistance training with high intensity interval training. This will really get your heart rate up and burn the fat. HIIT basically means that you go all out for a short burst, followed by active rest, and then repeat. This form of training is good for people with very busy lifestyles as they can get similar health benefits in a shorter duration of time. Please take a look at my video on HIIT. Remember there is no one exercise that can target your belly fat. You need to lose total body fat. Sit-ups certainly won't do it. In fact, sit-ups are really bad for you. Please take a look at this video. Putting it all together, a few small changes in your lifestyle can make a big difference and reduce your waist circumference. So reduce your portion sizes, cut out sweet treats and alcohol, meet recommended guidelines for exercise and increase your intake of fruit and vegetable. In addition, strength training exercises are recommended at least twice a week. And don't forget to warm up and perform dynamic stretches before your workouts. Please take a look at this video on dynamic warm up exercises cool down and static stretches after exercise session. Please take a look at this video on static stretches with resistance band. And don't forget your core workout. Please take a look at this video for some great core workout ideas. Thank you for watching until the end. If you like this video, please click the like button. Please subscribe, share and comment. Please also hit the bell so that you will be notified of any new future video release. If you are interested in improving your health and fitness, and if you want to prevent lower back pain, please take a look at my book which is now available from Amazon. Thank you.